I was I was born in Pretoria in a place called Eastwood where black people were removed during the Group Area Act. After the promulgation of the Group Area Act, my mother was a domestic worker. She also worked as a factory worker at a factory called Hogan in Rosley. And after having all three children, she went back to, to high school to complete standard six and, and, and thereafter went to high school to, to, to do uh, from one up to from three at that time and then went to college. So um, when she did that, we were sent on to the village to live with my grandmother, my paternal grandmother. And um, that's why that's where I started school. And I started school at a school named Ikakheleng in Marapiani under a tree because it was a small school, very few classrooms. I mean, I, I went to university very young. I was 16. And my parents had given me four years and they said, if you don't, if you, if you fall pregnant in these four years, you come back home and you look after the baby, period. You've got to finish this degree in four years. It was a four year degree. I was nerdy. I was scared because I was very young. So I never even went to parties or anything. But I, I was also naughty because I'm quite naughty generally. I'm the kind of naughtiness where you, you remove a chair whilst people are trying to sit and run away. You know, that kind of naughty. But I think the conversation about the place of symbols on campus should have taken place years ago. And the road statue being one of them. It's not just this, um, the symbols on our campus, symbol, on, on, on UCT campus, it's across, across the country. What do symbols mean? And I think at some level, the country, at the level of the country, you see, we saw that happening with street namings and buildings and whatever. And somehow institutions never had those kinds of conversations. Um, and, I, and, I, and I think that conversation should have happened a long time ago. I don't think um, it is only black students who that the statue of Rhodes made uncomfortable. I'm sure it made other sections of our society. I mean, I can imagine um, Africans people being uncomfortable about the place of Rhodes where it was. I like saying that UCT is the best university in Africa. You have to work at being the best for Africa. And being the best for Africa firstly means that we're not going to be shy of the fact that we're African. We, we, we have to be open about the fact that of course we're African. And also see that as a strength. And see the challenges of our, of our country and our continent as an opportunity rather than a weakness in the world. 